What's up world, this is Creator again. Uh, you might have just caught my video on how to easily interchange uh, Dremel lithium-ion batteries for Bosch lithium-ion batteries. This video is going to go over the actual internals of the battery pack. If you're a rebuilder or are interested in a higher capacity or re repairing a dead battery, uh, this video is for you. Um, if you notice on the battery it says uh, 3 INR 18 over 65. Um, a lot of battery geeks will probably recognize right off the bat that that probably means there's three 18650 batteries in there. And sure enough, uh, when you open up the battery, there are. But first things first, let's go into <clears throat> actually taking the battery pack apart. It's almost as easy as taking the little end cap off the battery. That comes off with three locking tabs and so does the battery pack. Um, you're just going to stick your little screwdriver in there, pry it up. And while you're pushing up on it, pry it up, and pry it up. It's that easy. Battery pack is apart. Once you get it apart, you will see that the battery pack just slides right out. Um, it's a pretty basic design, and sure enough, right inside there, you've got three what looks like uh, LG 1500 milliamp batteries. Um, if you're a battery geek, you'll recognize this battery. This is an LG 18650 battery. This is actually one of the pink ones. It's a, a 3000 milliamp battery. These are the batteries you'll use in a high power LED flashlight. Um, so in your Bosch or Dremel 12 volt lithium ion battery pack, you basically have three 1500 milliamp batteries um, wired in series. So you end up with uh, the 10.8 volts there that they're, uh, they're claiming. And uh, Basically, if you look at the bottom of the battery pack here, uh, you see that it's got 1.5 amp hours. So they are probably um, LG 1500 milliamp batteries. So as far as uh, rebuilding it goes, um, you could get uh, a nice 3000 or uh, you know a three three amp hour battery pretty easily. Um, if you just replace it with the uh, LG pink batteries. Um, as far as the difficulty goes, um, you could get tab batteries and just solder tab all of the connections except this one on the top here. Um, that's your main uh, contact point that goes up through the battery and it is uh, spot welded on there with two little spot welds. Um, and since it is a pretty crucial part of the battery, if you, if you broke that apart and you wanted to um, put it back together, I would recommend doing it with a spot welder. Um, if you don't have a spot welder, you could uh, kind of lean those tabs down in and uh, use the, the battery case to hold it all together. Um, <clears throat> but ideally, you want, you want that point to be pretty solid, so I'd recommend using a spot welder. Um, that being said, if you got a dead battery pack, you might as well try it. Go and get tabbed, tabbed batteries and do all the other connections with solder. Um, and then for this top one, just lean, lean the tabs inward and press them down and then put the battery pack all back together and hopefully you'll get enough pressure on that, that point that, um, you won't get a degraded battery contact there. Um, other than that, it's a pretty simple design. I actually haven't had one fail on me yet, so I'm not gonna try to rebuild it now. I mainly wanted to see what was inside so that uh, I could give you all an idea and give myself an idea. Um, so it's pretty, pretty simple and solid design. You can't go wrong there. If you like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel.